young boys and I suppose young girls as well, you know, you get to be 10, 12, 13 and you zero in on something and it becomes uh, obsessive. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and certainly it was for me and that was kind of the fuel that uh, shot me forward into doing all the terrible stuff you have to do to be in rock and roll. <laughs> um, and you know, and I now it's uh, next year will be the 50th anniversary of the recording of Kick Out the Jam. So I've been in the game 50 fucking years. <laughs> it be Bob right here. Uh, What's cool about this bread? I didn't realize it, which I'm, but I'm glad now I have. Wayne is in every picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's his guitar. Yeah. You know, band, band, band. But so Kick Out the Jam's motherfucker. <laughs> was sort of how you guys knocked on the door the, at first. Right, right. And, and you know, we, I suppose we had that, like all young people, you know, you're absolutely certain. You've got, it, you've got everything figured out. You're going to live forever, and you're right about everything. And, um, and that was kind of, you know, that and, and the idea that, that somehow my generation was evolutionarily different than all preceding generations. That there was this, because I took enough acid, <laughs> everything was different for us than it was for any generation that ever happened before. I, I've since kind of learned that, that you know, this is the, the prerogative of youth. <laughs> and all, all youth think this, and they all reject the older generation. The, the older generation could not possibly teach me anything. Right. And, uh, and that I'm absolutely uh, not unique in this. Just, just uh, as time has gone on, gone on I've stuck, been able to pull back and see there's a bigger picture going on and that, that maybe what we did in rock bands when I was young and what young people still do in their bands is they're trying to find their voice. They're trying to find their, uh, their way to say, hey, this is me, this is my time, this is my generation there. They're bursting with enthusiasm for life, and it shows up, you know, today it shows up in hip hop and, and music that young people like. And for us, it was electric guitars. Um, and I expect uh, after all this is done, there'll be more. And, you know, there'll be, I can tell you what the next big thing is mm -hmm. something. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be something, and the next generation will find their voice. And uh, then, you know, if they're lucky, they'll end up in a book, too. Mm -hmm. I still have books. That's all. 